So there I was, defending my friend Stardust from a racist groper who was commenting hateful things about black people. Fast forward a few days and all of a sudden I'm getting accused of child abuse by Keemstar. How did this happen? Let's break it down. A couple of days ago, Stardust was responding to the Anna slash Jessany controversy and a groper, white supremacist basically named Mio, commented on her tweet with racist rhetoric. I responded to his tweet, not knowing I was about to get attacked by hundreds of racists slash sexists in doing so. Yeah, that's rough, dude. One of my response tweets can be seen in the video Keemstar shared, where I mentioned having dated black guys. Did Keem not wonder why it was included in the video? It was included because one of the racist groipers made the video to target me for dating black men. I was also called a coal burner, but that tweet was since deleted. Here are just a few examples of what the group posted on my Twitter feed. Not too long after, I had to take my Twitter account private because I had been receiving rape threats and other hateful messages in addition to the racial slurs on my Twitter feed. One of the groupers, named Cute Root, decided to take a step further, which leads me to the video. Um, the other night on stream, I dressed up as a nurse as a meme to make fun of Halloween metas on Twitch and to encourage people to get vaccinated. It was not intended to be funny. Uh, sorry, it was intended to be funny and Lighthearted. That is not the typical nature of my stream. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Anyone who ever watched one of my streams already knows I am mainly a political streamer. That night, my daughter had some ice cream too late in the night and was having trouble getting to sleep. She kept getting into trouble for playing with toys in her room and making up excuses to get out of bed. I started nice and got more firm as time went on. The video is edited to make the situation looked much worse, obviously. For the record, I do not spank my kid. I don't find it to be a useful form of punishment. I've stated this publicly many times. What does work is taking away toys. So that's what I was doing. I took her toy away and shut it in a drawer. That's when my daughter says no, which the video incorrectly interpreted as ow. No, I didn't hit my child. My daughter is very well adjusted and was just having a night where she was being bad and disobeying me. I do believe in firm discipline when she is misbehaving, which is why my voice was firm and why I took the toy away. Well, hello, Hoser. Welcome to the stream. Feel free to give me the tip and I'll give you a shot. I give you the jab. You give me a load of bits. <laughs> Guys, you better get vaccinated, okay? And if you don't want to, I'm going to forcibly inject you with a blow dart, okay? Go to sleep. Sure. Discord e-dates are, you can drop the e-date command and it'll explain it, but they are sub only for now. Um.
<sighs> yeah, so I, I, I seem to have pissed off a lot of, like, well, first I pissed off a group of white supremacists, like Groypers, uh, who were, like, you know, talking shit about black people, like, re like really horribly. Oh my gosh, she scared me. Hey, you're about to get in big trouble. We're not doing this again tonight. Get out. Hey, you're gonna get in big trouble. Look at me. No, TBH, I couldn't give a fuck what anyone online thinks about me or my parenting. Um, I do the best I can with what I have. I love my daughter and literally exist on this planet for the sole purpose of giving her a good life. Literally all of my viewers know that. That video was made by actual racists trying to cancel me for standing up for POCs. Ironic that this would result in so much hate and interesting that a reporter like Keemstar couldn't do five minutes of due diligence to see that the user that made the video is an open racist and that my outfit was a joke. Anyways, thanks for listening and subscribe to my fan house. Oh, hi, friend. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> I was honestly just trying to like chill tonight. <laughs> I was like not even streaming. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know that you had like, what are the odds that you would try to take one day off and that this would explode? Yeah, I don't know. It's really fucking shit. <laughs> All of this really did stem from me responding to that Mayo griper yeah. guy. Like, I've been being attacked for, like, four days. I'm um, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel like, so bad because you were, like, defending me in that. That's so ridiculous. Um, I'm I mean, so sorry if, about like, that. Like, anything happened, if I, like, you know, I don't know. If anything really terrible happened, I would totally, I would totally take legal action because that's, like, defamation. Yeah, because it's not even like, you know, none of that is accurate. They just put in like subtitles that weren't even accurate just to yeah. try to like, yeah, you know, but yeah, it's, it's pretty silly. Don't don't look at those imgers on your stream because they have racial slurs in them. OK, um, but yeah, um, yeah, you guys know that I just joke around on stream. I'm not like a a booby streamer or whatever. I have boobies, but I'm not a booby streamer. Yeah. Um, and I dressed up cause like I was, well, originally I was just going to dress my cat up, but I thought I would just make fun of the Halloween meta, you yeah. know, how the chicks all dress up in their slutty Halloween outfits, you know? Yeah. And I was just kind of joking around about getting vaccinated or whatever. And, um, you know, my kid, she wasn't going to sleep cause she had too much sugar. So she was like, yeah, you know, bouncing off the walls and yeah. I kept trying to get her to go back to bed. She kept trying to make up excuses to get out of bed. I'm going to turn the light on. I'm going to get a tissue. I'm gonna blah, blah, blah. And yeah, she was um, playing with toys in her room. So yeah. yeah, you know, I was getting irritated with her, but she's four. So yeah, and I went in there and I tried to take her, I took one of her toys away and put it in a drawer and she was like, nah. Yeah. And then they tried to make it seem like I guess I was like hitting her or something, which isn't true. That's I don't I I don't spank my kid. I just yeah. don't. It doesn't work for her. I just don't think that it's a, a good parenting method, you know. So I just took one of her toys away, which <laughs> is way worse. Like she's if I were to spank her, she would honestly just like laugh and you know laugh at me. So yeah. I took her toy away and she screamed. But of course they're editing it with like the boob shot. And you know what's funny is at the end of that video, they're they're showing my tweets and one of them is one of the responses to one of their broipers where I said I'd had black boyfriends, which is when they started calling me racial slurs and stuff about like, you know, white girls who date black guys, I guess. And they included that in their stupid little edit 
And Keemstar couldn't do 10 minutes of research to look at Cute's profile and see that he's like an open racist. They, he didn't stop to think like, why is this tweet included? Because it was literally um, yeah. a video that was made to hate on me for having a black boyfriend and standing up for black people. Like, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> I was literally standing up for black people and trying to debunk his stupid rhetoric. And they made that because they were so mad like that I would do that as a white woman. It's so ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'm legitimately like, I'm actually super, super mad that this is happening. Um, like, I don't really know what to do because there's people try. like, I, ha I don't know if you know this, but like, I have a harasser. I've had him for a long time. Who's always tr like just trying to, you know, find where I live and work and all that. And, you know, like they're trying, like, you know, if I were to like lose my real job or something over this, that would be shit. Like, I don't know what I would do. My, like, I wouldn't be able to provide for my kid anymore. Like, so it's pretty serious to me that they would take that and try to spin it like I was like, you know, being a bad parent or something, you know? Yeah. It's, 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 um, it's horrible. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know what to do, but I mean, I guess I'm just gonna try to not like let it get to me, I guess. Because, you know, all the hateful rhetoric is around all I've, I've always dealt with a lot of hateful rhetoric around me being like a single mom and stuff, you know. And I've always had people telling me that like, you know, I'm a terrible parent and how dare I be a single mom. And like, you know, I took some heat for black backlashing um, against, you know, the nuclear family, the way people push that as if like, that's the only way to raise a kid. But like, I'm just doing the best I can, you know? Um, yeah. So no, like, I mean, I think you're, I think, I think you're, um, you're somebody who is clearly like very loving of, of your child, very loving of like, um, uh, what you do. Um, and I think that it, it sucks. Um, it sucks so much. I don't know. I'm going to try and get into contact with people or something, but I, I mean, you're just doing something in your own time and, and yeah, being but like, judged. I don't want this to get to like, I mean, I find it to be highly, highly unlikely that anybody could figure out like, my personal details because I've taken like yeah pretty drastic steps to make sure that people can't but you know like just thinking about like you know if something like this somebody were to make something like this out of context and then like send it to co-workers or something fucked up like that and like then I would like lose my job or like I use it to take care of my kid you know what I mean yeah yeah like and honestly like the whole stream that I did the other night was just a joke. Like I was just, I was, you know, I don't have any problem with e-girls for the record. I don't have any problem with like booby streamers. I don't have any problem with like people who do that, but I was memeing on them for sure. I was like yeah. trying to, you know, put on my e-girl voice and joke around. And it was really obvious that I was joking around and everybody knows that I'm not like a booby streamer or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but, um, yeah, I don't know, but definitely, definitely these racists are trying to deplatform me, trying to get me canceled, trying to get me to lose my job. Um, like my real job, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me, let me see if I can like message a, a couple of people or something that can, um, could she I mean, I probably honestly them? contact a lawyer because that is defamation. Like uh, it, especially seeing as how they, they put subtitles over it without context. You can't see anything going on in the stream. Yeah. It did sound like my kids was like, ah, but it's because I was taking her toys away from her, which is what I was saying on the video. I'm taking your toys away. Ah, you know? Yeah. So like, but you know, to, to accuse me of like hitting my kid and then like the zoom in on my boobs and like, calling me a whore and all of that stuff was yeah. just I mean that to me that's just straight defamation like I don't know how that could be interpreted any other way but it regardless is. of whether they take it down I mean the damage has already been done so
Well, I mean, so yeah, I'd have to prove damages, but if I got fired from my fucking day job or, or, or banned from Twitch, there would definitely be damages. Right. So yeah, it wasn't that, it wasn't that Augie guy. You guys would think it was, but it wasn't, it wasn't. So I, so Sardis, like somehow I got in trouble with two groups of like sexist, like, and you know, idiots on, so like right after that, then this other community on YouTube started targeting me um, because they're mad at John Circo over something. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't them. This this was this came from that cute root guy. Cute root, who's yeah, yeah. Followed by all the politically provoked people and Mayo yeah. and all of them. So like he's yeah. like you know they were mad because I basically was like I'm not associating with politically provoked anymore because if they're going to be associated with people who like are basically spamming rape threats. And yeah. like, I mean, I was getting rape threats. Like people were in my inbox saying, you deserve to get like, you know, and I was having to report people to Twitter, get people banned from Twitter. Yeah. I was getting called like a, I was getting called racial slurs that mean like a black, a girl who dates, white girl who dates black guys basically. Um, and all of that stuff. So yeah and that's the guy who made who made the bull uh made the uh the video um but yeah so i just you know whatever i mean i feel like it sucks for me because i mean i'm not, i'm a good person like i really do just try to do what's right and help people whenever i can i don't intentionally do things that are you know i don't intentionally start drama um, I've helped a lot of people deal with like cyberbullying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, yeah. usually the advice I would give them is to just like, you know, let it blow over or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully I've taken a lot of steps to like keep my identity safe. Yeah, hopefully that all holds holds together. And Brittany just LOLing in my DMs, like LOL. This is like not the time or place for a fucking LOL no, chick. Absolutely not. It's it's unbelievable and it's unacceptable. She's like, I don't think that these guys have any. I don't imagine that they have any connection to the guy who made this. And I'm like, Brittany, you literally follow the guy who made this. You actually follow him on Twitter. <laughs> Like, quit acting. <laughs> like, you know. I'm I'm so sorry. This is um I don't I don't know. I um I messaged one person and I'll try to message a few other people and see if there's um anything we can do. Um uh, I, I just I'm I'm just speechless honestly I'm I'm speechless and I'm very angry um, I'm very angry for you um, IRI is saying that you should DMCA the video on Twitter oh. since you well, it's not even fair use because it's something that was made for harassment and edited together like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do I do that? Um IRI, are you able to um are you able to advise on how um BX can DMCA the video? Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely going to report the tweet. I think you could report the tweet for being abusive and harmful. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I don't know. I need to try to figure out how.
That's true. If you made a good point, if you DMCA it, you have to give them your information, but you could always just lie on that. I've done it before. And now we've got, you know what, this is so there's so much irony here because like I tried to message Keemstar like a year ago when I was trying to get this pedophile taken off the platform who'd been doxing, harassing, slandering me yeah. and a bunch of other people. And I think most people know about that situation because it was pretty public. Um, and, uh, you know, Keemstar never responded to me on that. But now my harasser is commenting on Keemstar's Twitter post like, let me give you her personal information. So what happens when you when you go after people? You go after people for being pedos. You go after people from being um, for being racist. You go after people for whatever reason. They try to they try to end you, man. You know, because you just got to keep trying to do the right thing and yeah, um, not worrying about it. But I, Honestly, the only thing I would worry about would be like, you know, somehow somebody found out, like, like somebody was saying, you know, send it to like my, what, HR, I don't even have an HR department, <laughs> they're never going to find that shit. <laughs> I don't even have an HR department, so. Um, but yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm so mad. Yeah, I mean, like. I I mean, like, maybe I honestly, like, I've thought about quitting a lot. Like, I really have because I don't know. Like, all that shit does kind of, like, weigh, I'm start sorry. to weigh on you after a while. Mm -hmm. It's hard. And just all the hate I get. Like, you know, the, the whole, like, you know, like, you're a single mom. Like, how dare you, like try to have so many jobs like what what's your kid's life like that poor kid like I hear shit like that all the time and it's just like so exhausting I don't I don't have any like I don't have any Instagram do you have the uncut video of that um by any chance the person no I deleted it out of like just I should have downloaded it first, but I just deleted it. Not that it matters. I mean, there was nothing else on there. Yeah. Well, I mean, somebody was saying that, you know, if you have the un unedited clip, then um, I, I guess um, somebody could show it, right? Um, well, I mean, it doesn't matter because it's all like I was just joking in the – I don't yeah. think anybody needs – any. I don't think anybody really needs like – like, I guess if you've never heard of me before, never seen any of my stuff, you might think that, like, I act that way on Twitch when I was joking. I was like, yeah, I'm, the, yeah, I'm, I'm your nurse, and, like, twirling my hair and just being, like, cringy on purpose, you know? But, like, anybody who's, like, ever interacts with me in any way knows I was joking, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Um... But yeah, I mean, it is important that like people know, like I don't even spank my kid, like, you know, yeah. so for that was what that was what pissed me off. Like, you can make fun of me being a booby streamer, you can make fun of like my outfit, you can make fun of me being cringy or any of that. But like bringing someone's kid into it is way too far. You know it what is, I mean? It's way too it, far. Especially when too. like, you know, like, we're it's not like I was spanking my kid on stream. She was just in the other room and they took the liberty to put like that. She said, ow on there. She didn't even say that. Like you barely even hear it, you know? So like, that's just messed up. It's, yeah, it is. It's really messed up. I think that, um, I think that I don't think you should quit or anything like that. Um, 
because that's get, just, just letting tired. them. I'm just yeah. Tired. Yeah. If you if you need to, you know, take take some take a day off um, or something like that, you know. But don't let these people bully you into any um, any sort of decision, right? Um, I am going to report the clip. I'm going to report any accounts that are associated with the clip. I'm going to report um, the Keemstar tweet because it is targeted harassment. And um, I'm, I will contact whoever I can about this. Um, uh, yeah, it's... Um, like, I mean, I feel like there, there is actually a, a basis for defamation when you're yeah. trying to, 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 like, add your own subtitles that paint a completely different picture than what happened, you know? Um, I don't know. Honestly, spanking your kid too is not even like against the law. So that's not even really like, that's kind of a nothing burger too, but you know, but the fact is that I wasn't even doing that. So, yeah, you know, like it's just annoying is all. Do you think there'd be any clips up on, um, on, on your Twitch that might, um, be able to show more of like a clear picture of what it actually was? No, that was, no, they, they posted it. Like, you know, I was telling my, I, I told my kids to get back in bed and then she was in there and I was like, I'm going to start taking your toys away. And yeah. then I took one of her toys away from her and she's like, ah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's all that. I mean, yeah. it's like really like pretty straightforward. There's nothing, yeah. but it doesn't matter anyways. I mean, there's nothing, you know? Yeah. Um. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I didn't even really think that it was a, a particularly revealing outfit. Like, it was really just like a joke that I was doing. Like, I was just memeing the the spooky Halloween meta. Yeah, I don't know why I need to even defend myself. Honestly, like the only thing that bothers me is that like they they tried to say that my kid said "ow." My kid didn't even say that. I mean, she just goes ah because you know she's four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you take a toy away from her, she's gonna like you know do that shit but yeah i'm probably just gonna ignore it and just block anybody who talks shit on twitter oh. somebody said it'll go away in a day um you'll start more uh, okay they said it, it should be ignored um Yeah, I mean, it's not like you were showing, like, a whole lot anyways, right? It was like a Halloween costume, essentially. Oh, like, yeah, well, I mean, it definitely ridiculous. wasn't, like, anything fan-worthy from Twitch or anything like that. Yeah. The yeah. only thing I would worry about is the way it made it seem like I was, like, like, my daughter was, um, you know, this was, like, the fifth time she'd come into my, my, my room, and it was, like, 10 p.m. It was, like, not, like, the middle of the day, and I was neglecting her. She was supposed to be in bed, and she just kept getting out of bed over and over and over so, but that's also not the norm. Like my, she never does that. I don't know why she was having such a hard time. Um, sleeping, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. You're honestly, your chat's got good points. They're making good points, you know? Yeah, they are. Um, I mean, I really don't even worry about, um, the only thing I worry about is getting doxxed. That's really all, it, all I worry about is getting yeah. doxxed. Uh, the, yeah, the only thing I, I worry, I'm not even worried about the Groypers as much as I am, like, Keemstar has this huge platform, you know? So I just don't want you to get, like, harassed, um, by a bunch of people I mean, who don't even- I can even take that. I can take that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I mean? But like, I can't like what, what, what does suck is like people threatening like my livelihood that I use to like feed my kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I just, I mean, I'll, I'll communicate to whoever I can that it's, you know, the subtitles aren't correct. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
That's it's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. I'm 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 never going on politically provoked again, as long as um. I mean, like Brittany's yeah. got a point that she didn't do anything like herself, but she definitely defended Mayo. Like when when all yeah. of this was happening, she was just like, "LOL, it's just a joke, haha." I'm like, "Yeah, jokes about raping women and black people being inferior. Seriously, that's a joke to you?" Yeah, like it's, it's that, disgusting. You don't say that you're not defending them when you're just saying it's just a joke. That is literally defending. You're yeah. literally defending it. Like so, I mean, you know, it's not her fault that that happened, but like, she's the one that platformed that person. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I said that I was not going to deal with that anymore because I was never going to go on her panel again because I don't want to even be associated algorithmically with somebody who has yeah. like associates like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, yeah, I, I appreciate you talking to me. I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm just so blown, um, I'm just blown by this. Um, is there, I guess, is there anything that you would want to say to anybody who is um, a larger, uh, I guess, a larger creator with some influence or? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that would be the right move or not. Let me just like ignore it for a little while because, you know, I mean, you know, this is like, you know, part of my livelihood is streaming on Twitch. So obviously, you know, um, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, obviously stuff like this is scary for me because, you know, like I'm usually a pretty, like, well, I'm almost always like a pretty, I'm not super controversial. I might have some controversial takes, but you know, I don't intentionally just go seeking out controversy and towing the line of TOS or anything like that. You know what I mean? I play it pretty safe. Yeah. So, you know, this is, but this, but Twitch is part of how I feed my kid and put like, you know, money away for her college and all of that. You know, if it weren't for Twitch and on my platform, like I wouldn't have been able to do any of that stuff, you know? Yeah or we recently moved to a nicer neighborhood because we lived in a really terrible neighborhood before and it was a bad school district and stuff. So I saved for like, for two years, I streamed on Twitch and put every penny that I got from Twitch aside to help us get into a new house. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And we just moved here and like, you know, it's just, a, it's a, been definitely a blessing to have people, you know, subscribing and helping me put money away in a college fund and stuff like that for her. Like, I mean, honestly, like, I think that everybody knows that like my kid is my absolute life. Like there's no, like, I don't even have my own life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. My life begins at like eight 30 when she goes to bed and I stream. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I definitely can see that. Definitely can see that. Um, I'm going to message this guy soon. Can I post just like a lighthearted clip in your chat? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like my kid did something. Cause I, again, I really try so hard not to even let anyone see her, but it's impossible because, you know, occasionally she does wake up and run into the room unexpectedly, <laughs> but you know, like here's just yeah. a really cute clip up my super cute kid. So <laughs> Yeah, she, you know, she wakes up every now and then. Um, yeah. that doesn't normally have. But honestly, like looking at um Nicholas de like Oreo comments, just um I just saw that. I told him yeah. to send me a DM. Yeah. His DMs are closed, but um that guy was honestly one of the ones who was kind of starting all of this. Like 
not starting it. It was his friend, this like kid Augie or something hmm. who was also posting a lot of hateful sexist stuff. Somebody dropped a hard R on my fucking Twitter feed. Like I had to go private because that combined with the Groypers, it was just a lot of like, I was just getting attacked by like a lot of people. Yeah. Um, Let me pull this clip up for. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm. I'm oh my god! Yeah, but actually, like, there's yeah, a lot I, of people spent, who are like, "Fuck you, Kickstarter! This is bullshit." Uh, you have to turn the you have to turn the volume up. That's uh, funny. Oh, I couldn't see it because I'm on your thing, but it's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, why is it not playing? Loading problem. Oh. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. like, I'm, oh my god, so you can't just take like one out of context I, 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 clip I and like make it sound like, you know, uh, <laughs> we have a visitor. He's like I'm the bad me. guy. They fabricated a video that was not accurate. It was not an accurate depiction of anything. Um, I was dressed in a silly cosplay to make fun of the Halloween meta on Twitch. Um, like not to say I was making fun of e-girls, but I was like poking fun at e-girls like that what's not like what I do um, <laughs> That the outfit when I got it didn't seem that slutty But then when I put it on <laughs> I was like what, looking at it when on the video I was like, yo, that's that outfit was sluttier than I thought it was when I put it on. Hello, Ash, you tricks um, My daughter was having a hard time going to sleep. She doesn't usually have a hard time going to sleep But she was that night and yeah. um, they edited the video to make it look like I hit my kid. Like they actually put a subtitle in it that made, you know, made it look that said like Al. That's what was happening. I remember. Um, and that's they not said Al. close to what happened. I took her toy away from her and she went, ah. Um, I, I've said many times I don't spank my kid. I just don't, I just don't do it. I don't think it's a good parent. I mean, like, I don't judge parents for any reason, but like, unless they're like hurting their kids or something, you know. But I've said many times that I don't spank my kid or anything like that. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's it's silly the number of hate, the, the amount of hate that I'm getting. Like, start something silly. that was full completely it's really out of silly. context. You know, shame on Keemstar. Um, Zonia, JV, thank you guys. Zonia, you're so sweet. I'm going to have to turn my alerts off tonight, I think, because you guys are coming in strong with the support. You didn't have to do that. Like, I, honestly, here's what I'll say. I'm not going to stay on too late. I'm so tired. Um, but what I will say is I am blown away um, by um, all the support from the community. And sorry, I was trying not to do this, but like um, even like people who Aww. honestly I beefed with like publicly have reached out to me to be like, yo, that's bullshit. I'm sorry. And yeah. It just makes me feel really good to like have so many people like have my back, you know, from the politics community. Like, I guess it show goes to show that like we're all adults and we all know what going too far looks like. And that's definitely what going too far looks like, you know. Um, it's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so like honestly like watching Stardust chat defend me even though they hate everything I stand for. <laughs> yeah. Um, watching irrelevance chat, infrared chat defend me regardless of you know how much they hate some of my political beliefs was like really uplifting. Um so um all right. I'm done. I'm done with that. Sorry. You guys just like it it made me feel much better to have everybody have my back. <laughs> Um. <laughs> That's so sweet. 
No, you're kind and sweet, Stardust. You you have you did you were under no obligation. You were under no obligation to come to my defense. Like you did nothing wrong. You know, like I know that you feel bad because it was your tweet thread that popped off with the racist shit, but you did nothing wrong. Like you have no reason at all to feel sorry, to be sorry. Thank you guys for the cheers. Um, I do it again, Stardust. <laughs> I do it again because I've never been the type of person who backs away from bullies. Um, I've never been the person, I mean, I've always been the person that defends people my whole life. Like, I've been private security, I've done all sorts of shit where I just defend people, that's what I do. Um, I I've been helping it. people on Twitch for years now, for two years now, deal with online cr cr uh, crime and cyberbullying and harassment. And I've been on the receiving end of it before. This isn't my first time. Um, so, you know, um, I just, I, I'm, I feel really touched that all these communities are backing me. What ha yeah, you know? it was the video. Um, Honestly, the anyways, reason she got targeted like that was because of me. I it was like one of my tweets wrong. was getting parent knows that like ravaged by people creepers. have parents have so. moments, and she jumped you know to my defense where like their kids are just she doesn't pander to anti-vaxxers she's kind of just the night I was having that night she doesn't like the and I just happened to be idea of a mandate a dumb slutty outfit <laughs> like <laughs> so whatever <laughs> um she is I was vaccinated. I am considering taking a break from twitch so I wanted to talk about like moving forward um um, obviously, like, this is a big source of, like, income for me. It is. Like, you know, Twitch is an income source for me. I am a single mom. I'm not ashamed of that. Um, I want to clear up some things there. I'm not ashamed of being a single mom. I'm doing the best I can with the hands that I've been dealt. Um, my daughter has a father. She's not fatherless. She has a, a father who has her like 30 to 40% of the time. Um, she's got a really good relationship with her dad. I've got a good relationship with her dad. She has a, she sees her grandparents almost like probably three times a week. I mean, we're very, we, we have combined birthday parties. I don't fight with her dad. It's, we're, we're co-parenting and it's fine. Um... So, um, you know, that said, I am not also not a stranger to people being sexist and discriminatory against me for being a single mom, you know, like I've dealt with horrible comments and in, in chat and all kinds of stuff. Um, whatever you think you know, about her, about, um, whatever you think about be like, like, like in her like views, like you got to give her props. Like she is like honestly, she is, you know, she's a tough cookie. Life. And she will stand up for, <laughs> you know, um, um, she will stand up for the underdog. One of the reasons why she when really I went will. on Dylan Burns that time and I argued that the nuclear family was overrated. Part of it was, <laughs> you know, because I've seen the negative consequences of pushing too hard for this ideal nuclear family. And I have a unique perspective on that, you know, like it's I've never seen existed. what stigmas arise with single moms and, and the hate that we get and the vitriol, the people blaming us and thinking that we did something wrong to be in that situation. And that's just not the case. And, yeah, and it's, it's and it really doesn't not. help anything to, to add stigma to people who are already, you know, working hard and trying to do what's best for their kid ab above everything else. And, um, that said, I, you guys should give her a follow. Dealing you should with give feelings her a follow. of inadequacy as a parent. I think we all, all, everyone who's a parent, whether you're a single parent or not, has dealt with feelings of inadequacy. Um, yeah, that's, and, that has to be know, the hardest part. Am I part. raising my kid right? You know, am I doing things that are right? Um, am I giving her everything she needs to succeed? Why is she such a little shit sometimes? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because kids are tough. Kids are hard. Kids are hard to deal with. And um, any time that they're acting out or bad or whatever, you know, it's easy to get down on yourself and wonder if you're doing things right. Um, and being a public figure and having people, like, know that you're a single parent and stuff and shaming you for it definitely doesn't help with those feelings of doubt and 
Um, I would say like if anything, the my doubt, <laughs> my doubt when it comes to parenting stems from the fact that my kid is spoiled. She is fucking spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> like she's definitely the opposite of neglected like she like I think that if there's one thing I struggle with with her it's helping her understand that she's not entitled to everything like today she threw a fit because she wanted to go to the store and buy a toy like I was like no and she was like ah, I want a toy and it's like yeah she's spoiled my kid's <laughs> spoiled straight up <laughs> sir physics thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community I appreciate you buddy um, you know, she's spoiled. I mean, and I think that that's better than like uh, neglected, obviously, but yeah, um, there's a fine line course. too between, um, giving your kid a good life and letting your kid walk all over you and be spoiled and over being overly, you know, like people were telling me like, you should just give a hundred percent of your attention to your kid when she refuses to go to bed, which is a joke, right? That's a joke. Having right? been like, being relentlessly harassed on Twitter for this, I can't even imagine. Yeah, kid, it's fucking disgusting. Just, it's just, disgusting um, because um, politically provoked um, should know no, that families are off man, limits. I appreciate you, dude. Um, and if a community member does this shit, they should kid. ban them. There's nothing wrong at with least. It. Um, I don't make my kid. That video was edited to make it look that way, but I. I didn't, um, and there's nothing. I have Where nothing see to the hide because I've not done we'll anything We'll go over it right wrong. after this. Um, uh, but it is too far. It's too far for it's somebody to it is attack too fucking far. a mom and her kid. Like that's just beyond. It wasn't them. Up. It was an beyond audience member up. or somebody so who's a con that it like a contributor that far, quite often. That these people would take it that far. Um, over like some Twitter beef of all things, of all things. Um, it's disgusting. I've never been so mad Thank you. at so anybody over a Twitch um, thing before. I was a mom and I'm glad I wasn't spoiled. I'm trying, but it's hard because like I, I do kind of spoil her. Um, um, <laughs> I do spoil her. Yeah, like, she was. One of the big problems she was. I have, but thank you, IRA. I appreciate you, bud. Thank you for, like, support and all of that. Um, honestly, like, I think that the biggest the biggest thing for me last night was just, like, normally I don't, like, normally if I have a hate thread about me, which I've had, like, Destiny's video, whatever, um, you know, or YouTube video, like, I don't read those comments because it's just toxic. I've talked toxic. with Neo before. It's toxic as fuck I, to read hateful things about yourself I've, I've talked with him before. So, as a rule, I just... He really doesn't don't, respect don't anything them. that comes out of my um, mouth because I'm a woman, though, so... And, um... <laughs> he doesn't even respond. I'm glad... <laughs> Sorry. Hi, all right. Thank you for the prime sub, man. You're pr you gave me your prime sub? Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> um... um what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. So I'm actually glad that I read the comments on Keemstar's post <laughs> because, like, legit, the majority of them were like, what the fuck is this, yeah. dude? This is some bullshit. Yeah. How dare you? They were. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's wrong with this? There's nothing wrong here. And, like, although it was embarrassing because of the way I was dressed, like, I was joking around, like, dressed like. And she looked an fucking girl, good, like, dude. She mean, looked but, fucking good. So that was embarrassing the way they edited that to make it seem like that's my content when. You guys know that's not my content. We, always, we were literally just joking, but, um, you know, they edited it to make Poor it look thing. like I was a an e-girl, like, you know, a booby streamer. Like, you guys know that's not true. I know that's not true. So, honestly, who cares about that? I don't need to dress like a fucking... I don't need to wear. I'm not you even know, at this point. I'm not mad even at Team Star. I'm. Like I'm. Fulfill your I mean, yeah, I'm mad at him a little bit too. You know? But I'm mostly mad talking shit at Cute Root my and street, politically provoked. On my tweets, they were all boy first. So like, if I click on the people who were like, "You're a whore" and all that, I would like or like, you know, I'm gonna call They're CPS all on you for being a prostitute. They're all like, groipers. I mean, the, the most ridiculous things when when you looked at their profiles, they were all groipers. So. You know, they're just every ugly, single one ugly, of them, ugly, horrible people like they went way too far. Um, nobody should ever have to deal with having their kid dragged into um, like online drama. Yeah. Um, 
I looked banging. Thanks, Sardis. I actually was watching that video and I was like, dang, dude, I did. I looked hot in that. She looked really fucking hot. <laughs> I looked hot, hot, but like it was maybe a little more <laughs> revealing than I thought it was when I put it on. <laughs> um, the people responding to the tweets are the ones telling Wurzel. Yeah, this. So this Wurzel root person is like a is like a a prominent figure in the Groiper community. Yeah. Yeah. Families are off limits. I'm sorry. You do not go after somebody's family. This is cute, Root. She's the one who made it. I, mi I miss cringe docu-react content. This arc is depressing. Fuck you, RJ. Fuck you, okay? No longer use the name. It's called PP Stream. What's uh, Brittany's role in this? Well, she's, um, she's like the moderator of Politically Provoked. And I feel like when you have a platform and you've got somebody who is a regular on your panels and they do a hit piece on somebody that involves their family that you should probably fucking punish them. Yeah. Why is it always the people with the shittiest jeans that care the most about jeans? Her social blade has been going steadily upward. If anything, she's financially going to benefit from it, LOL. She's currently threatening to make, to intentionally in bad faith, make my life legal hell, to mess with me financially, regardless of the results of the lawsuit, because she's mad. Yeah, because you, <laughs> this is what I was saying. Let's, let's see, I blocked her. I was so mad at her. The tweet is unavailable, wow. Um, I said, she was saying like, I can't, um, I can't police everybody outside of my outside of my community. And I said, that's fine. I tolerated being called racial slurs and sexist comments from your chat because of that. Like, I'm not going to change. Like, I'm going onto your platform, right? At least I can play ball, right? But when your audience members go out and fuck with someone's life, potentially their livelihood, that's unacceptable to me. I'm 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 fucking pissed. Uh, that's all I can say. I'm pissed. So she said this, and I quote tweeted her. I said, um, it's not bad faith when what you've done can have far-reaching consequences, and it's quite literally slander. Her social blade is not going up because of you, and how dare you even compare? Um, and... Just, it's just so fucked up. It's just so fucked up. Hey, but thank you guys. Thank you guys. Hey. I want you want more water? Come here. Oh. We got the house. We did? We got the house. Yay. The one with the backyard next door has all the toys in it, remember? And the big bathroom. Do you remember? Uh-huh. Are you excited? What toy? <laughs> what toy? The house with the, the toys in the backyard. The to you mean the playground? Yeah. Yay! We finally got that thing. Can I have some more water? Yes. 